Okay, welcome back to another SQLite video. Today we're going to focus on the delete statement. So if you're curious, how do I go about deleting records in my SQLite database? That's what we're going to check out today. And if you're wondering how we got this far, once you see you know, the GUI application we're using, the DB browser for SQLite, and how we created the database and inserted some data, there's a whole playlist from the very start that you can check out and go through up to this point. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. We're going to continue on with SQLite, so you might find that interesting and something you may want to learn. Um, but yeah, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss any in the future. And just like we showed with the update statement, the delete syntax is pretty similar. It starts obviously with the delete keyword and then from and whatever table we're going to delete some records from. So in this example, they have a table called customers and then they're going to delete using this where clause where this column customer name, the value is equal to however you pronounce this. And just like the update statement, which we showed in the last video, when you don't have a where clause, what this will do is it'll delete every single record and whatever table you specify. So if we kept out this where customer name equals blah, 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 uh, it would delete everything from the table customers. So you have to be very careful and use a where clause unless you want to purposely delete everything. So pretty simple, and with that in mind, let's hop over to our database browser for SQLite, and let's use the GUI to create a SQL statement to delete a particular record from our table. Okay, so before we go ahead and delete, let's decide what we want to delete. So I'm going to browse some data, and here's our people table. And for this example, let's just say we want to delete Sally John. So there are multiple ways that we could write up this delete statement. We could say delete from people where first name is equal to Sally and last name is equal to John. Or we could do something way simpler. If we knew that Sally John's ID was two in this table, we could say just delete from people where ID is equal to two. Or if you want to delete everything from this table whose age is greater than 30, you could do that. So Sally would be deleted here, but Mark would not because his age is 29. Or you could specify by email. But something to keep in mind, we made ID the primary key, which makes it the unique identifier of this table. So there could be another Sally. There could be another Sally John. There could be another Sally John of age 35 but there's never going to be another Sally John whose ID is equal to two because like I said, this ID is what makes it truly unique. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and delete where ID is equal to two. So delete from, and then the table name. So people where ID is equal to two. And if we go ahead and run this, we should see just one row was affected and that's exactly what it says down below. And if we browse our data, we can see that that row had been deleted. Now what DB Browser for SQLite does, which is kind of useful, is we can revert our changes if we messed up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll say, are you sure you want to undo all the changes? I'll hit yes, and then we'll get back Sally John. Now if I wrote those changes, instead of reverting them, it would save what I did, and then she would be permanently deleted. And let's show what happens when I go ahead and don't use a where clause. So if we just have delete from people, we'll leave out where ID is equal to two and run this, down below we can see that two rows were affected, and if we browse the data, as you would expect, everything has been deleted. But I'll go ahead and revert those changes again, hit yes, and here we go, we have our original data. So just obviously something to keep in mind, uh, you should always use a where clause unless you truly want to delete everything, which is probably not the case. But that's all we're gonna do in this video. We showed off how to use a delete statement in SQL and specifically in the SQLite database that we have and we've been using. Thanks so much for watching again. Uh, hope to see you in future videos and take care.